little grandbaby in there. Paul's gonna be so happy to be a grandfather. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Not So Berry Challenge. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Before I get into today's video, I quickly just wanna say that I have received some comments regarding Wanda and their relationship and also just like them being a non-binary person in general. And I just wanted to address that Yes, Wanda is non-binary, but with The Sims, sometimes is it is hard to use the correct terminology when it comes to like their relationships. Moving forward, Wanda and Tatum will be like a partnership. However, last episode, I did refer to Wanda as Tatum's girlfriend, um, and it was only because that was the selection in The Sims itself. I am doing my best to try and have Wanda as this uh, non-binary sim and to give people some re representation of that. So um, please cut me some slack because I am doing my best to try and have non-binary people feel included. But the thing is with people that are on that spectrum, it's so different for each individual. And I really want Wonder's story to reflect how Wonder feels as themselves. So they're not gonna be this cardboard cutout of what a non-binary person is, they are themselves and we are learning who Wanda is through this series and I just wanted to put a little bit disclaimer that the storyline I have planned for this series may be a little bit problematic for some people but we at the end of the day things are going to be okay and they're going to work out so yeah I mean if you guys have any issues that's fine if you want to put it in the comments but please just remember that we're all human and we're all doing our best to get through the day and I'm just doing my best to try and give non-binary people some representation. And if you are non-binary and you feel like Wanda doesn't fit you, then I'm sorry about that, but Wanda is their own person. And yeah, I really like Wanda. And also if I see anyone in the comments posting stuff that you don't believe in pronouns or like non-binary people, um, I will be deleting comments because I don't think anyone needs to see that. Please keep that to yourself. Thank you. Anyway, we are back today with our lovely Wanda. It is actually Wanda's first day of work today so I have them just in here practicing some speech before they go in um, I got Tatum to go downstairs and make um, some breakfast for everyone so Wanda will eat before they head off today but I also noticed that they can take a pregnancy test so I think I'm gonna get them to go ahead and do that honestly I don't think they are pregnant at all um, but I just want to take a test to be safe and make sure that they're not so we'll quickly take one now all right we're just checking it out waiting for it to come back and they're not pregnant. Okay, cool. Perfect. Wanda is not pregnant and I don't know if they actually want to be pregnant. Oh, thankfully the pregnancy test came back negative. Wanda does not want children just now. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, so Wanda does have to actually head off to work, but I'm going to quickly come grab a serving. Oh, no, I don't want you to skip work. Oh, ooh, ooh. maybe they'll have to just eat on the way. But look, look, Wanda has their new outfit on that Tatum um, bought for them. How lovely. They got their hair up in a little fancy uh, bun thing anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get Wanda to head off to work today. Tatum's also at work. I'm sure Tatum will be showing Wanda the ropes and everything. I am gonna get Wanda to work hard today. And I think that means that the only person left at home is Ruby. Um, however, she is having a bit of a sleep on the couch right now. And she also has work today, but I think I'm actually gonna get Ruby to take a personal day off. Um, money must be raised immediately in order to match the back, the backing promised by a mysterious secret donor. Tatum lacks the staff and phone lines, but time is running out. There seems to be only two options. Recruit neighboring office or take it to the streets. Um, let's take it to the streets. And we have another one. Oh, this is for Wanda. Um, Megacorp is conducting a board meeting nearby a hotel. Wanda must decide whether to crash it. Uh, crash the meeting. So, okay, so Tatum succeeded. I don't think Wanda did, yeah. I mean, I don't think it was a loss in performance, but that was not the right thing for Wanda to do. So I'm getting Ruby to take a personal day off today. I feel like we haven't seen Ruby in the longest time. So I do want to spend today with her because eventually Wanda will move out and we won't be playing with Ruby anymore. So I want to make sure we are playing as much as possible with Ruby. And they also found out they were pregnant last episode. So um, yeah, she's struggling a little bit with the pregnancy. She is fine with it, but she's so tired. She's not really having the best pregnancy. So I'm gonna get her to go back to bed for a little bit. And I also wanna show you guys that I set up the baby's nursery. Um, I put up this wallpaper and then, I don't know, it kind of just came together with this like cloudy blue theme. I don't actually know what gender baby she's having or if she's having just one baby, but for the sake of, um, I guess, 
my interior decor skills. I hope it's just one. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is our little baby's room. Isn't it cute? It's a little bit cloud themed. I really love this blue color. I think it is so cute. All right, so I'm going to get Ruby up. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. She's feeling super uncomfortable from morning sickness. I wonder if I can get her to come and puke in the toilet I don't think I can but there is a salad downstairs that she can come enjoy I think something healthy would probably make Ruby feel a little bit better unless she's craving rich food oh she's okay so she wants like pizza or cheese all right sure why don't we actually order pizza then okay order a delivery um let's get a pizza delivery oh come Ruby cuisine yum and I think that Ruby would probably like a sweet corn pizza. I don't know what that is, but I don't know. I just feel like it's Ruby's cup of tea. So uh, make sure you order your pizza, my love, and then you can have some of that. Oh, you're actually full from the salad. It's fine. You can still have pizza. And I will clean up for you because I am a nice sim god. Oh, if I can put it in the sink, that is. <laughs> okay, so she's ordering a pizza now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and um, book the obstetrician for her birth. Full obstetrician. And we'll have to figure out what kind of birth we want to have. I feel like Ruby is not really the type to enjoy pregnancy or labor. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do a cesarean section. I think she probably wouldn't enjoy a natural delivery or a home birth. I think she's just like, get it out as quick as possible. I don't care. So we're going to go ahead with a cesarean and we'll book that in. And also the reason is because a natural delivery and also the home birth take a long time. So <laughs> I want to get this baby out as quick as possible. All right, Rubes. Oh, I think she's gone upstairs to have a bath. Oh no, she's gonna go clean the bath. My love, you don't have to do chores today. I know you're home, but like you're literally pregnant. You can just like relax. Yeah, she's cleaning the bath. Okay, I'll let her do that. And then we'll use the toilet. And I think it's a good idea to come and take a bubble bath. Okay, so I think Wanda and Tatum are now home. Wanda brought home 1, 000, uh, 112 simoleons today. Good job, Wanda. They're feeling really tense from work. They, they're a bit stressed out. They're a bit angry. They want to do something romantic and win a <laughs> competition. Okay. Um, oh, the pizza's here. I'm so sorry. Let's take this pizza. Ruby got a little bit distracted in the bathtub, I think. Okay, we'll just pop it on the bench so Ruby can come have some pizza. Okay, Ruby feels a lot better because she's in the bath now. She feels, like, really good. I'm so sorry that you can, like, kind of see her body, but... She's in the bath. She's having a good time. Wanda's downstairs. They're feeling a bit stressed out from their first day of work. I'm sure things probably were a little bit difficult. I kind of can imagine the politician career as this very, um, like, sexist career in a way. And Wanda, as someone who is, like, a non-binary person, but also, like, when you look at them, I think people just assume that they're a female. So I think that it's a very like strange career to be in because some people just don't understand. But I think that's why we are in that career because we want to show the people that they're wrong and that, you know, this is perfectly fine. Okay, so with Wanda's career, we actually need to um, promote a cause and we haven't actually picked a cause yet, I don't think. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a cause for Wanda. They're gonna go downstairs and have some salad. So let's pick a cause. I think I'm gonna go with the no sim left behind just because it's like, Wanda as a non-binary person feels left behind and they are like saying that everyone should be equal. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that one. And I think Tatum also is gonna pick the same one because they're doing this as like a partnership. Good job, you guys. And Ruby, come downstairs and grab your pizza since you're craving some uh, like greasy food anyway. Okay, so we actually need to promote our cause to be able to get a promotion. So before it gets too dark, I'm gonna come downstairs and promote protest for no sim left behind just over here outside our apartment because there seems to be a little bit of a gathering of people and i'm hoping we'll do our best to promote it down here okay here we go so wanda's feeling quite passionate i wonder if tatum can come and join protest and jay is probably yeah he's quite tired i was gonna get him to join but i think he probably wants to stay home with his fiance and get some sleep I don't want you to be drinking coffee though. I don't know. I gotta get rid of this coffee machine because my Sims are like literally dying from tiredness and they just keep drinking coffee. Please go to bed and have a lay down. Ruby, you can probably head to bed too. No, don't drink coffee when you're having a baby. Jesus. How was our protest? All right, Tatum's making his way over too. Oh, these people are joining in. Wow, well done, Wanda. They're like completely succeeding. Oh, Tatum. Oh, I didn't realize this actually helps with our charisma skill. We just hit level five. 
Can we get people to try and join in? I don't know if we can. Is this child gonna join in? No. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually talk to people. Oh, do we need to do like a polite introduction first? Maybe. Um, rally to the cause. You gotta support Sims. No one's left behind. We're all important. You know, the elderly too. Okay, Avery has listened to Wanda's passionate remarks about the cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. <gasps> Yay, well done, Wanda. So you probably get a promotion next time you go into work, which is not tomorrow, which is on Saturday. Wonderful. Aw, Wanda feels so happy, like, about that. Good job, Wanda. Maybe we can try and convince some other Sims while we're here. Let's, like, just say hi to people so we can, like, get to know a few more people around. Um, rally to the cause. And we'll do it again. Oh, we already said hi to this guy. Okay, Wanda seems to be getting along really well with a bunch of people. I don't know how Tatum feels about it because he's like just the sign boy at the moment. He's probably like a little bit jealous that Wanda is like doing all this stuff. Okay, buddy, I think you really need to go to the toilet right now. Oh, he is. Oh, he's not happy because there are children around. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, Zaki is pulling. Zaki wants to try for a baby. I think you should decide for yourself, mom. Decide for myself, that's too hot. Okay, Zakia, you have like a million kids, chill out. All right, Tatum is feeling really sleepy. I'm actually gonna get him to go to bed in our lot. Um, I don't know where Ruby is, I did tell her to go to bed. Oh, also, since we made Tatum's room a baby room, he's just gonna be sharing with Wanda um, for now, which I think is fine because I think eventually either one or both of them will move out depending where their relationship goes. So I don't think it's a really like too much of a big deal. And you know, at the end of the day, if one of them, if they break up or something, um, they can just sleep on the couch or like, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay. Wanda's feeling like really good. And from, um, doing all of this, I think I'm going to get them to come upstairs and actually work on their charisma skill for a little bit though, because I think the sooner we get a higher level, the quicker we will get, um, promotions. So I want to send them back upstairs and let's come and work on our charisma skill. I might just do it in the bathroom so we don't disturb people, but come practice speech and then I'll send you to bed in just a little bit. It's only eight o'clock. I think they're fine. I'll pee like a champion. They're so confident. I'm so happy for them right now. Okay, so we're just going to practice our charisma skill for a little bit and then I think I'm going to send Wanda to bed. So I'll check back in with you guys in the morning. All right. Good morning, everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and lock this computer for everyone but Wanda because everybody keeps using it. But Wanda's going to come downstairs and get some breakfast. I think we can probably eat some proper food, Wanda, honestly. Um, I don't mind them eating cake, but like if it's every single meal, oh, we don't really have any other food. Okay. Why don't you come and cook something instead then? Serve breakfast. Let's do eggs with bacon. Okay. I told you not to eat that cake. Put it back in the fridge, please. Not today. Come on. You're having cake every meal. Have some like proper nutritious food because you have some, a busy day ahead and cake is only going to fill you up so much. And honestly, if you're eating it at eight o'clock in the morning, it's gonna make you feel super sick. All right, Wanda's just preparing breakfast now. Um, I do want them to do a little bit of work on their cause today. Once we're finished breakfast, we're gonna go upstairs and check on our cause progress on the computer. And then I think we're probably gonna spend the morning like maybe hanging out with Ruby and stuff. I was actually planning for Ruby to get married in one of the next episodes, um, but then they got pregnant. So once Ruby gives birth, we'll do the wedding. Um, so maybe we can go to Tartosa or something and actually get like a few things for the wedding. I'm not really sure at this stage, it might be too soon. And then I do want to go to the Spice Festival tonight because that's on. And I feel like that's a good opportunity for us to like, um, check on our cause and everything. But also at the same time, we haven't seen Aya in a bit. So maybe we'll go out with Aya as well. Okay. Have some breakfast, Wanda. Wanda does want to have a drink at the lounge from being a snob. So I think actually maybe that's a good um, thing to do today. And we'll take Ruby with us. Not because Ruby is allowed to drink while being pregnant, but I feel like that Ruby really just needs to get out of the house because they're feeling really sad from their pregnancy mood swings. And they definitely deserve to like go out and have a nice food and like some karaoke or something. So we'll head over to the lounge this morning um, after everyone's had got their needs up a little bit. So I think Tatum's coming over and he's like, oh, what's on the plan for today? Wanda, what are we going to do? And I think Wanda's just going to tell Tatum that we're going to spend our day with our sister. And we hope that he doesn't mind, but we just want to have some sister time. We spent a lot of time with Tatum recently. And now 
now that we're working together at work, we probably need a little bit of like, not space from each other, but like some independent time as well. Otherwise things can become quite overwhelming. I think, I think Tatum is just gonna say, well, I hope you have fun one day. Just try not to get too drunk because remember now that you're in the politician career, there are paparazzi and eyes everywhere and you don't wanna make a fool of yourself. So do your best to like, um, just don't have a, just only have a couple of drinks and don't get too wild and everything. Wanda's like, oh, okay. I will do my best um, not to drink too much and I'll keep an eye out for those paparazzi and if I see any, I will go hide in the toilet. <laughs> okay, so now that everybody seems to have their needs up, I think. Ruby's just finishing off having some cake. Oh, now they want healthy food. Oh gosh, you're impossible, Ruby. You're eating healthy food when you want greasy food and now you're eating sweets when you want healthy food. Um, Can we bring Aya as well? Actually, I think that Wanda's gonna have to do the traveling because I don't know if Ruby knows Aya. And we're gonna head over to the Stargazer Lounge because that's our local lounge. All right, here we are, we've arrived. Um, Ruby is looking really nice. I think I wanna get Wanda to put on a little bit more of a party outfit as well. I hope we have one, otherwise I might have to actually make one. What is your party outfit? Oh, I mean, it's cute. Yeah, look, and they have this little hair with it. Oh, I really like that hair in Wanda. I think they look so cute. And Aya always wears this outfit. The funny thing is, is that I totally gave Aya like an actual outfit and they always wear this. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I actually, yeah, I gave them like two nice outfits. So I don't know what the hell they're wearing. They can wear this instead. Because Aya is also non-binary, as you guys may know. Um, so we're going to come and chat with Aya and we're going to um, promote our cause. Obviously, they're going to hopefully say yes. And we'll get Ruby to do a respectful introduction because I want all of these guys to actually know each other. All right, here we are, all of the besties just hanging out. I'm going to get Wanda to order a drink. So let's order a drink, um, order a favorite drink, and Aya will hopefully just grab one too. I don't want Ruby drinking alcohol because she's pregnant. So um, let's see if we can order... I don't know what is alcoholic and what's not, but we're just gonna get a sparkling water. Aw, look at this beautiful bump. I'm gonna give Aya an apartment key so they can come visit whenever they want, because Aya's like our best friend. So I wanna make sure we're like actually seeing Aya a lot more. Hey Aya, I'm, I know we haven't really hung out in a bit, but here's a key to my apartment. Feel free to come over whenever you want. I'm really busy at the moment with everything. So yeah, feel free just to pop around. It makes it so much easier. I think we're also gonna ask them about their love life. We're gonna be like, hey, have you been seeing anyone recently? Like I recently just got into a relationship with uh, my roommate Tatum. Yeah, it's completely unexpected. <laughs> Okay, Ruby's having a sparkling water over here. I don't know where Aya's gone. I think to the toilet. We kind of need to go as well, so we'll just do a, like a little bit of a, a trip to the toilet together. That's nice. Hug it out. And we have a sentiment with Aya. Closer from happy memories. Aww. Okay, you have to have a drink at the lounge because you. I'm pretty sure you ordered a drink, but where is your drink? When it's just like in the bathroom talking to Aya. Okay, you guys can talk out here. You're just like leaving Ruby all by themselves like out here. Ruby's also super hungry from being pregnant, so <laughs> why don't we get you to order some food as well? Um, Peter and Hamas. Oh, you don't like Aya? What's going on? Look at this little pregnancy bump. Aww. Oh my god, Courtney is calling us? Have you ever heard of something called the motive trials? Um, no, go away. Don't don't contact us. Go away. Don't talk to us. Let's chat with let's chat with Ruby. Come on, I want to cheer Ruby up. Let's ask her about the um Enthused about upcoming wedding. I think we're going to just be like, Ruby, I know you had plans for your wedding and they had to get cancelled because, you know, of the pregnancy and everything. Are you planning to, like, rebook after you give birth to the baby? Ruby is, like, upset because they had to push back, um, you know, their wedding and everything. And I think it's really showing because they never really wanted kids and this pregnancy was, like, super unexpected. But I think once the baby comes, Ruby is going to, like, feel a lot better about the situation. I think they just feel really young and, like, weren't really planning to have a kid like straight away if at all um but you know we have Wanda in the house and Wanda's gonna help look after the baby so it'll be okay at the end of the day are you ordering a drink okay okay well you know one one drink is fine <laughs> they say you can have one glass of wine when you're pregnant so we'll just pretend this is one glass of wine but Ruby please 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 don't be like that and Wanda ticked off needing to have a drink um, we want to listen to music now that we're at the lounge. Where is the music? There's like a dance floor over here. 
Um, but I don't know how we can dance at it if there is no music. I'm just gonna hire a DJ and the rest of us are gonna come up and dance together upstairs. I think this fit is so cute. Like it, I know it's like not super party. It's more like casual. I have to give Wanda some like more outfits, but I figured giving them some casual outfits cause they're like young and they didn't grow up super rich was like the sort of plan. But I think now that they're with um, Tatum who actually is loaded as hell, um, they'll probably get a few more like nice outfits from him. All right, so these three are having a dance on the dance floor now. Ruby seems to be actually enjoying themselves. Like they had a little bit of a dance. I wanna do a wedding group dance and I has made some friends with people over here. Yes, oh my gosh, Wanda, get it. Okay, Ruby, this is, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these two. Yeah, come on, join in. Okay, Ruby's gone downstairs to chat with the bartender again, that's fine. But these two are having a nice dance. Look at them get it on, woohoo. We're actually feeling very flirty, so we gotta be careful not to flirt with Aya. Um, but I want to ask them about their day and everything. I think we're heading back downstairs. Should we get another drink? I think we should. Let's order our favorite drink again. All right, we're just ordering some drinks now. Ruby's still looking <laughs> really sad, so I feel kind of bad for her. I really want to take a selfie with Aya so we can like remember this, but I just don't know whether it's going to let me. Yeah, for some reason, it's like, I can't take a photo with Aya. I have no idea why. We want to have a another drink. Okay, we can do that. So let's come and order a drink. I think I already got Wanda to order a drink, but they didn't actually do it. So can you come and order a drink, please, Wanda? They feel like very hardly and very flirty. They have this like, like old times emote where it's like enjoying being near my family. Um, and they're really enjoying like the conversation and the shared joy and the drinks and everything. We just have to remember not to get too silly because Tatum will be disappointed in us if we make a scene of paparazzi around. So we'll try not to have too many drinks, but we'll have enough. Um, you know, to feel a little bit buzzed and a little bit satisfied. There is like a random drink here. Oh, I wants to become best friends with Wanda. Yes, oh my God. I'm so happy about that. Of course, sentiment. I need to get the mod where you can have multiple best friends because I'm worried I'm hurt some people's feelings. Ruby and Wanda are no longer best friends. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aya, my love. Okay, so it's like five o'clock. I feel like we've had a few drinks. We're feeling quite flirty and quite buzzed. Um, I'm gonna get these guys to actually head over to the Spice Festival now that it's, that it's on. So um, let's travel with the people that we're with. All right, here we are. Happy Spice Festival times, guys. Oh my gosh, I, uh, I don't know why you keep wearing this fit. I think I'm gonna have to give them more outfits. Time to widen your palette and cook your book. Let's sample some food at the Spice Festival. Okay, we're already here. So yes, Paul, you may come along. Uh, Paul actually does not know that Ruby's pregnant. So this is gonna be a nice surprise, I guess. And it's happy hour at the karaoke. Look, I don't think we're gonna do karaoke today. I think we're just gonna come and try some of the food at the Spice Festival. There is this table over here with a bunch of items. So I'm gonna get Wanda to come and try like sample basically everything, I think. Okay, here we are, we're trying some food now. How do you like that? What are you eating? Is that like a bun mi? What's next? Some dumplings? Yeah, they seem to enjoy it. And then the last one is like a curry of some sort, I think. What are, what are these foods? Okay, pork. Right, I got the first one right, the first one was a bun mi. <laughs> oh, they're feeling so inspired from being at the Spice Festival, that's nice. Why don't we come listen to some live music as well? Um, we'll come and watch the performance and tip this guy. He seems, oh, it's actually a woman. They seem to be doing pretty good on the guitar. And while we're here, um, we may as well try and promote No Sims Left Behind. So I think if we can come and like introduce ourselves to some people and like share our cause, that would be like the best thing to do. So we'll say hi to this guy that looks like Caleb Vitor, but is not Caleb Vitor. Hi there, nice to meet you. I am Wonder Berry. I've recently um, started working in the, I don't know, whatever the politician career is called. And I just wanted to let you know the importance of, um, you know, no sims left behind. My myself, I'm a non-binary sim. And you know, it's really important that we um, all cele celebrate all different types of sims and are accepting of all different types of sims. You yourself look like a, a vampire and you know, you wouldn't hate it if that people discriminated against you because of your uh, like culture. And hopefully he agrees with us and wants to help us support the cause. 
Okay, so he's feeling inspired to take action. So we did it. Good job, Wonder. Oh, Aya seems to be talking to this lady here. I wonder whether they'll get along. <gasps> Paul! Okay, so we're gonna say hi to Paul. Um, let's promote inspired to take us like Dad. We actually need to tell you something. So we have joined the politician career and I want you to help me support my cause, which is No Sim Left Behind. Paul has listened to Wanda's passionate remarks about the cause. I think Wanda's gonna be like, you know, actually dad, I have to tell you that um, even though I do have a boyfriend, I am actually a non-binary sim and I want you to just respect my pronouns and everything. So we're actually gonna tell Paul our pronouns. I feel like we've already done this, but I actually can't remember if we did or not. Yeah, I don't know if we have the option to anymore. Where is my mod? I'm confused. I feel like my mod's broken. Yeah, it's gone. Everything's gone. <gasps> what happened to my mod? Oh my god, guys. It's like stopped working or something. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just like in quotation marks tell Paul. Yeah, okay. Like Paul's happy about it. He's like, you know, Wanda, I always felt like you were a little bit different from your other siblings and y you know, it's I love you for you and I'm just proud of the person you've grown up to be. I don't care whether you're, you know, straight, gay, um, you identify as a female, male or none, you are my daughter, you will always be. And if you decide that you don't wanna be referred to as a daughter, I won't do that. Just let me know what works for you and I will be happy to call you that and respect that. So Paul is like such a great dad, honestly. And <laughs> I think Ruby, you're gonna have to come and announce that you're pregnant. Oh no, Ruby, you're heading home. Honey, go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, pregnancy. Announce news of pregnancy. Oh, well, actually, we'll ask Paul if he wants grandchildren. I mean, Ruby, at this point, like, they can tell you're pregnant. Um, <laughs> but I guess Paul's a bit oblivious at times, so <laughs> maybe he won't notice. Hi, Dad. So, Mum actually called me and was saying that you guys were probably going to try for another baby. So, I know you like kids, but how do you feel about grandkids? <laughs> I think that's a, a yes from Paul. So we told Paul about the pregnancy and he seemed to react well. I didn't get any like pop up or anything, so I couldn't really tell, but there was no negative um, like reactions or anything. So I think it's all good, but he's actually coming to feel the baby now. Oh, little grandbaby in there. Paul's going to be so happy to be a grandfather. Oh, cute. And I don't know what Wonder is doing, but they're actually feeling quite hot headed at the moment and we have to try two more foods at the spice festival so come and try this chicken burrito oh ruby asked paul whether he'd want grandchildren paul would love to have grandchildren oh i miss the little interaction oh i'm so sad oh that's i'm glad they're good they're good we'll give we'll give paul a hug um we'll give him a hug before we go we're gonna head off now dad it was really nice seeing you but i'll invite you over once the baby's born and honestly like do you mind telling mom that i'm pregnant as well um i just don't really want to confront her about it at the moment because we've sort of had some hard times growing up so i'll see you later dad i hope you have fun with everyone and we're gonna head home now so i'm gonna end with this event now and send these two home to have some sleep it's like 12 o'clock at night and i'm pretty sure wanda has work in the morning so we want to go home and get as much rest as possible all right we are back home now ruby is a little bit hungry so i'm gonna get them to come and have um some food so let's grab a serving of this and how are you feeling wanda you're actually feeling okay. You don't really need to eat. Um, so why don't you go to the bathroom and then head straight to bed? I, we didn't really talk to Tatum today, so I hope he's not too mad at us for kind of like avoiding him. I have a feeling these two are out on the balcony. No, Jay's out here. Where is Tatum? Oh, he's on the computer in the hallway here. So we'll come and say hi to Tatum before we, um, go to bed. So let's just come in. We'll ask about his day. We're going to be like, Hey, how's your day? Like, I'm so sorry. I know it was our day off together and I didn't hang out with you, but I just wanted to check in and make sure that you were doing okay. He seems to have just like gone outside. I don't know whether he's mad at us or not. Maybe he didn't realize we got home. Um, but I'll get wanted to come outside. I'm sure everything is absolutely fine. We want to kiss someone. So I'm hoping we can kiss Tatum, but at the moment I'm not really getting the option to. Hi Tatum, how was your day? I'm so sorry that I wasn't home when I said I'd be, but I promise I avoided the paparazzi today when we're at the club and I did not get drunk. So how was your day? What did you get up to? Tatum's like, oh, I did some shopping today. Um, I wanted to get some more serious outfits for work. And honestly, Wanda, I think you should probably get some more serious outfits too. You know, what you're wearing at the moment is fine, but you know, now that we're in the public I we want to make a good impression I think you should probably update your wardrobe just a little bit to you know be taken a little bit more seriously because a lot of the clothes you wear now are very casual and so I think we should go shopping soon and I'll 
buy you some fits and things and I think Wonder is actually quite flattered with that um Wonder really likes their current outfits but I think changing out like one or two of them to be a bit more serious you know isn't the worst thing in the world um you know there could be worse things so Wonder's gonna head to bed now though and I'm gonna get Tatum to come to bed as well he might need to use the toilet and Ruby seems to be asleep on the couch again Ruby why don't you come upstairs I don't actually think Ruby has told Jay about the baby I mean I know he knows um but we actually haven't announced it so wait maybe we have announced it yeah no announce news of pregnancy let's do, let's come and do that before we randomly give birth and then he's like huh why is there a baby here so these two are going to come and have a chat they actually also want to talk about their relationship so ruby is oh missing a hand and we're going to tell jay that we're oh that's awkward Troubled announcement. Jay's partner announcing being pregnant. They're, they're not wildly excited about it. Just kind of neutral to positive. A reasonable reaction. Jay, however, finds himself incapable of reacting with anything but dismay and dread. A child? No thanks. Okay, like, I know that's really a terrible thing to, like, not be happy about. But honestly, Ruby is also not happy about the baby. So I think these two actually need to do maybe some couple baby counseling. Let's try and be sure about the pregnancy. I think we're going to say, like... You know, Jay, I also didn't want this baby. We're definitely not ready for it, but I've had to come to the terms of it because it's coming really soon and it's too late to like do anything about it. So, you know, why don't we think about it in a positive light? Like there's nothing we can do. Let's share our worries about the pregnancy. Let's offer to go to counseling for the unwanted pregnancy as well. I'm just going to boost up this just a tiny bit because I don't know if they're going to be able to get some sleep. <laughs> mean vibes from lot trades. Wait, what lot traits do we have on this property? Oh, there's like a mean vibe on here. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't want them to be like angry at each other. Can we get one that's gonna help with like our charisma and stuff? Maybe we'll do Chef's Kitchen for uh, Ruby. But I didn't even know there was a mean vibe here. That's probably why my Sims keep fighting with each other and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Okay, so these two are off to couples counseling at 2.30 in the morning. Um, they need to go right now because literally Ruby is in trimester three already. So she's going to be giving birth at like any time. I'm actually going to try and give birth in this episode if we have a chance. So it might be a little bit of a longer one. Um, but yeah, hopefully. I mean, if it takes too long, I'll do it next episode, but we'll see. Okay, we're back from couples counseling. How are we feeling about the situation? We are still like not really feeling the best about it um i wonder if there's anything jay can do to like try and convince himself we'll just share our worries about the pregnancy with ruby before she goes to bed so i'm gonna come over and just be like i'm so sorry i know you probably have work today and we've been up all night you know chatting about this but it's really serious and i just wanted to share what my worries are like of course i'm happy to have a baby with you i just wasn't planning we weren't planning to have a baby you know so soon and the thing is we just started our career and you know we live with our siblings like how can we be a family when this is our situation and i think ruby's like explaining to him like you know they're gonna move out soon um if we've got a room set up and everything we'll ask to accompany to birth hopefully he says yes Oh, they seem to be getting along a little bit better now, but yeah, I don't know. Like things are still not, I'm not missing the birth of our baby. Yes, I'll be there. Okay. So even though he's not happy about the situation, things are a little bit better. Um, so we also need to talk about our relationship fears. I guess now that we have a baby, nah, these guys, I'll let them have a sleep. You know, they probably deserve to have a bit of a sleep after all of that. Okay, go to bed. It's all right. I'm going to get Ruby to keep just taking personal days off until she gives birth because I don't feel like she needs to be at work, especially when she's so uncomfortable. And Wanda, good morning, my love. Come downstairs and have some breakfast. I'm surprised this egg is still doing okay actually i gotta put it in the it's about to spoil so hopefully you can come grab a serving before it spoils we're feeling quite flirty which is good because our boyfriend is downstairs so can we come and uh talk about fantasies i don't know why i don't have any options on the wheel for that i don't know if like because my mod broke there's like kind of a glitch or something but yeah i literally don't have that many romantic options for some reason oh don't eat that it just spoiled like right in front of you stop Clean it up. Okay, come take a shower before work today. Okay, we're off to work again. All right, Wanda, have a good day at work. I'll see you once you get home. Hopefully you get a promotion today, okay? So work hard and do your best. Bye, babe. I'm gonna work hard and Tatum is also on his, well, should be on his way to work. Go on. Okay, Tatum is off to work too, so work hard. And it just leaves the other two at home who I think 
probably oh ruby does have work again today but i'm kind of just tempted to get her to stay home again probably will go into labor and what about you jay jay has work in two days okay okay so ruby is up and like just checking the mail hopefully we didn't get anything important and they're craving some sweet food today so you know why don't we actually do some baking um i want to bake some sugar cookies go on ruby this is like you nesting you know you know when you're like pregnant and you like start to put everything together um so you start like baking and like decorating the house and stuff i feel like ruby is in the nesting era because they're about to give birth so let's go ahead and do some cooking i'm so sorry that my sims hands are missing this literally never happens when i play in my personal saves it's only ever happens when i'm recording i don't know why um i think it's the preteen mod that is affecting the height slider but yeah i don't know like if you guys have this issue please let me know how to fix it because it is extremely annoying and i don't want to take out the preteen mod um yet i do take it out sometimes but i don't want to take it out like right now <laughs> okay our sugar cookies are done let's go ahead and grab a serving because we well we were craving sweet fruit but now we're not interesting we want to complete a work task um everything you need to do for work is already done ruby i'm so sorry and you also want to skill up. Well, I guess we could skill up today. Oh my God. Darling has just said, hey, what's cooking good looking? It smells great in here. You know what, darling? You have been a right butthole to us, um, but you are pregnant, so <laughs> I will invite to eat. Hi, darling. Please come in and have something to eat. Both pregnant, so may as well. What? Whose grave does Ruby have in her inventory? Who is Bruce Wellen? What the hell? Ruby, where did you get that from? Oh, invisible mop. Okay, so now we're invisible mopping. Yeah, something's up with this game for sure. <laughs> oh, classic. Korea, look Korea. Oh, oh, select a branch for Tatum. Okay, so we're gonna go into the politician branch because he's gonna do the same as Wanda. We're gonna select that one. Congratulations on your promotion. And did you get a promotion to Wanda? Oh, wait, no, we did. Oh my gosh, I totally skipped past it because I figured it was Tatum's one. Yeah, Wanda has been promoted to a campaign intern. Oh my god, congratulations, you two. See, that's what happens when you are working hard together. Oh no, he's got a headache. Well, oh, Zakia, I think Paul must have told Zakia about the pregnancy because Zakia has just showed up. Um, invite in. We're not going to give you an apartment key though. Sorry, Zakia, but that's the way things go. And um, Wonder has been promoted, so they're back in this like base game outfit. But I'm going to give them a new outfit in um, for the next episode. So I think what's going to happen is Tatum actually went shopping yesterday for some new outfits. So I'm going to give Tatum a little bit of an updated appearance. But Tatum did mention that they bought Wonder a few fits as well. So I'm going to make one of those. Um, Wanda's work fit and also give them one for like an everyday wear or something just in case these two go out and the paparazzi come then we can change into it and we'll like we'll have this good image um so yeah but Ruby didn't actually give birth today so I am gonna end this episode here and instead I'm going to give birth in the next episode so in the next episode my plan is Ruby is hopefully going to give birth in the first part of the episode. And then in the second part of the episode, we're going to be having our wedding, which is Ruby and Jay's wedding. I know things have been a little bit tense between those two lately, but I think it's because they both didn't really plan to have children. And honestly, I don't think it's a deal breaker in a relationship. Like things happen. And the thing is they went to counseling and they're doing be their best to communicate with each other. So I think that honestly means their relationship is stronger than ever, even though they kind of been having like some disagreements about things, you know, they're both young. And at the end of the day, like it really shows character that they are at least willing to communicate with each other. And then they're and that they just didn't give up on the situation. So I am very happy for them. I am going to continue with the wedding despite their friendship going down. And hopefully once they have the kid and they're married, they'll be like a little bit happier. So I'm hoping we'll get married in the next episode. I'm also hoping we're going to give birth. Um, I also want to send Wanda and Tatum out on a little bit of a date um, before the wedding as well. So hopefully we can fit that in as well and then I think eventually I am going to get Wanda to move out because there's just going to be like a lot of people in the house and I think Wanda deserves to move out but we're going to see where their relationship goes with Tatum whether Tatum's going to move out with us or whether we're going to move out on our own I guess we'll wait and see but yeah guys um I hope you enjoyed today's episode if you want to have a guess on the gender of the baby in the comments please let me know I'm also open to baby name suggestions for Ruby's baby because I literally have picked 
no names. Like, I'm probably just going to randomize it. So if you guys want to suggest some names, then I'll pick from the comments. <laughs> but regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!